Biofeedback is a way of finding out what frequencies are best suited to you. Until now, we've had to rely on electrical signals to be applied to your body and the response measured. But for the first time ever, we can now use a scalar field. And Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer allows you to do this. This video instruction will teach you how to use Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer. The first thing you do is load up the preset. The preset contains the instructions on how to set up both the scalar and the software. In the presets tab, you go to biofeedback, you go to scalar digitizer, and you choose the scalar digitizer master preset. You then read the notes for further instructions. This preset performs the biofeedback using Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer, the only device capable of this function. Scalar biofeedback requires the use of both G1 and G2. One generator modulates the scalar field and the other generator measures the response. We suggest you use generator number one for the master preset. It is important to make a note which port numbers correspond to G1 and G2 before running a biofeedback. You can see here that G1 is port number 5 and G2 is port number 12. This is the master preset which performs the biofeedback. The slave preset modulates Spooky Scalar. Step number one, connect Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer to the link cable connector on the Scalar Transmitter. Step number two, connect G1 Out1 to the BNC port of Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer. Step number three, connect G2 out one to the BNC port of the Spooky Scalar Transmitter. Step four, select the Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer Slave GXJW preset. Step number five, in the output shadowing frame of the settings tab, set output equals x, where x is the port number of G1. In my setup, G1 was port number 5. So I put the number 5 in the output box. Step number 6, load the settings into G2. Step number seven, select the master preset and load into G1. In the last step, start the biofeedback using G1. G1 will start the biofeedback, but no frequencies will be produced. Instead, the amount of scalar energy being absorbed for each frequency by the body will be recorded. G2 will automatically start, causing Spooky Scalar to transmit the generator frequencies. It is best to lie perfectly still and only have one person in the scalar field. This field extends outward, so ensure no living organism is nearby. So those are the video instructions for the Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer preset. Thank you for watching.